Hello friends, this is Clayton Phillips, sales manager at Woody's RV World, Leduc, uh, in Alberta, Canada. And I'm uh, pleased to do a fly-through video on the all-new, uh, to this location, the uh, 375 RES Solitude. Uh, I gotta tell you folks, this is the Mac Daddy of uh, fifth wheels going right now. This has, there's just so much to talk about on this trailer that we're all jacked up about. And we'd love to have you come by and have a look at it. But uh, we're gonna do with the outside. Uh, we're gonna show you the inside and hopefully uh, get you down here to the dealership to have a look. Uh, on the 375 RES, uh, you've got a really nice pass-through storage compartment up front here. Uh, one of the things that you'll note on this one, this has incredible exterior storage, not just here, but at the back of the, uh, the fifth wheel as well. Uh, this one we optioned in the exterior pull-out kitchen, which we'll show you when we get off to the other side there. Uh, but on the driver's side of the coach utility compartment, one of the nice things about Solitude is that you have the Nautilus P1 utility panel. This is the industry leading utility panel. It's all color coded. You can power tank fill uh, your trailer. If you're getting low on fresh water, has the uh, whole house water filtration system. All your gate valves are all up inside. You'll note that this is a heated compartment right there as well. And then just better fittings, better piping, uh, better valves that Grand Design uses, where that's where some manufacturers will, will lack. One of the things that's really nice about this particular trailer is they give you the water pump switch. Uh, right out here as well. So it's a toggle switch. You're not having to uh, run inside your trailer to turn on your water pump to you know clean up your hands after you're done dumping your tanks after leaving the provincial campground. So real nice, uh, real nice setup with this uh, Solitude 375 RES. Again, this has a six point hydraulic leveling system with it right there. They bring out the, the uh, monitor, uh, sorry, the, uh, the control panel here for you to be able to access as opposed to inside the uh, pass through storage compartment. Uh, like some models again this baggage door here magnets so if it's a little bit windier you don't have a door swinging in the wind uh, which is really really nice uh, on this particular model also up underneath here we will uh, flip the switch blue lighting uh, up underneath your slide box here which is kind of cool you know if you're in a tighter camp space um, you know you flip those lights on it'll help illuminate the side of the trailer if you have to access your utility compartment uh, at night and the nice thing with those blue lights is it's not a big massive floodlight that's shining through your uh, neighbor's bedroom window uh, you know you're not gonna have to clip your head off the bottom of that slide out when you walk around so hot water heater and furnace are all on the driver's side of the coach as well uh, so, you know, those blow hot air and uh, much nicer uh, for that, for noise and whatnot underneath your awning. So, this is where the 375 shines, the exterior storage. This is gigantic. This has a, uh, a reverse, it's basically a front, a front living room, but at the back of the trailer. Uh, and it's all elevated. So, this has industry leading storage, okay? Because the Solitude is an eight and a half foot wide trailer, um, on the main body width, you have industry leading pass through storage. Like look at the framework under this trailer. Uh, unbelievable, all aluminum tubing. It's a heated compartment as well. So super, super good. You have access to both sides. Uh, this is just so unbelievable. Actually, when they introduced this model, right at the back here, slung up into the bottom side of the, uh, the floor here, they had two kayaks slung up. Uh, you know, I mean, you can haul stuff in this particular trailer. Uh, if you have a seasonal site and you have extra larger outdoor patio furniture that you wanna uh, put in there, you got tons of room for it, uh, which is cool. One thing, again, the Solitude is an eight and a half foot wide coach. So what's really nice about it, just like diesel pusher motorhomes and toy haulers it's the same width the advantage compared to other manufacturers we actually had a customer in here today looking at a competitive product and the dealer had told them that uh, the trailer they were looking at was eight feet four inches wide and a wide body and so we kind of challenged that a little bit and one of the things that you know they're, they're talking about is that it's eight feet four inches and uh, that extra four inches is actually the width of the awning uh, not on a solitude, you're eight and a half feet on the main body width. So what's really nice about that is you actually get the extra storage down the sides. It's not just up the middle uh, at the back here. And again, I'll show you, I, I glazed over this. You've got an 800 pound capacity 
more ride sliding storage tray on this particular trailer. I was showing one of the sales guys today. I jumped up on that and, and uh, gave a little bounce and super solid and I'm 190 pounds, but this is di evenly distributed. You've got 800 pound capacity with this sliding storage tray, more ride, uh, very, very good quality. So some other things to note, uh, they don't screw their framing together, the aluminum tubing. It's all fully bead welded together, double sided. Okay, so it's much, much stronger. Some manufacturers, I'm not gonna name names again, but just be aware of what you're looking at, what you're considering. Uh, you know, some manufacturers use uh, screws to hold all their aluminum tubing together. The issue that you'll run into is that the aluminum tubing typically is not solid, it's, it's, it's hollow. And when you put a steel screw in an aluminum tube, as the trailer gets towed down the road, uh, that over time, that's where trailers can start to squeak um, you know, and make a lot more noise is because those steel screws are wearing the holes a lot bigger on the, where, where it's ported into that aluminum tube. So uh, with Grand Design, you don't have to worry about that. <clears throat> so again, you've got a five slide 375 RES. This has the full winter package, WeatherTech, but we've also upgraded to the thermal pane insulated windows. Real nice. So we're gonna show you the exterior pullout kitchen. This is done by Moride. Uh, this was uh, uh, you know, put together in conjunction with Grand Design. And what's really neat about this particular trailer is um, you're not giving up exterior storage a little bit for it, but because of that big gigantic storage at the back, you're not uh, giving up uh, you know, a lot of storage for this particular feature. And it all folds up real nice and slides in on the more ride track as well. So, you know, unbelievable counter space. You got a little bar here. You can set up a couple of stools. It's right underneath your awning. You've got access, you know, at uh, barbecue quick connect right there. We'll zoom in on that, that that range grill uh, will uh, attach to. And you've got the sink as well. And it, you know, unlike some outdoor kitchens where the sink actually will drain into a bucket you have to put underneath the, uh, the, the sink, uh, you don't have to worry about this. This will actually automatically drain with a pump into your gray tank, uh, which is really, really slick on this particular product. Again, Grand Design's quality, three-year structural warranty. They were the original three-year warranty manufacturer, and they actually manufactured the product to support that three-year structural warranty. One of the things, fully laminated slide-in walls. That's why they've got thump here. Uh, a lot of manufacturers, they'll laminate their exterior wall, but not their rear wall or their slide-in walls. And that's where Grand Design shines is their structure, longevity. We just purchased a 2014 Solitude 369RL, their very first floor plan. And I'd love to show it to you. I gotta tell you folks, this thing looks brand new doesn't squeak doesn't rattle and that's just because it's a very well-made trailer so they hold their value uh, a lot better than others in the industry we optioned in the uh, gen prep on this as well so if you wanted to add a 5500 watt LP uh, Onan generator it would go right in that little box right there all the wiring and everything is automatically there and uh, we can drop that in for you Rotoflex pin box for smoother towability, less chucking uh, as you're towing it down the road. One thing to note, Grand Design, all of their front caps on all their fifth wheels have an air dam. That's that little ridge that you see there. This little ridge coming down like this. What that does is several things. One, it adds structural rigidity to the front cap so that when that front cap gets mounted to the front of the trailer, it goes on square. A lot of caps, they have a lot more movement in them as they're mounting them to the uh, front of the trailer. And if that, tra that cap gets screwed down, not square, what can happen is that you'll have adverse effects for towability because your trailer isn't uh, towing down the road straight in a lot of cases. The other thing that that air dam does is it breaks up the wind as it comes down the front cap. Uh, hitting the back of the tailgate so you get less of a vortex in the back of your truck, uh, you know, less things blowing out of the box of your, uh, your truck and uh, just better towability all around. And Grand Design paints their front caps as well. It's not a gel coat cap. So again, 14 Solitude we just brought in trade looks just as good as it did brand new. Uh, painted front cap on it. So LED lighting up top. Um, power awning with the LED light strip. What's really cool about this uh, light strip, although it's on the roller tube and it's, the light doesn't necessarily work great when the awning is in, the cool thing is you can adjust the roller tube straight where that light is pointed straight down. So if you're playing cards on a picnic table at night, having fun, you can utilize that light straight down onto that table as opposed to off the, where the uh, fabric meets the wall. Uh, where you'd have a shadow on your table. It's just, uh, you know, a little bit more usability uh, with that particular awning as well. 
This is a 2019 model that just arrived today. So they've gone to the uh, Ram Assist fold up entry step, which makes it a lot nicer. You're not having to lift the full weight of that step. It's much, much easier uh, to be able to use. So uh, again, uh, under mount lighting uh, at the base of the trailer as well. Uh, this, I gotta tell you folks, this is an unbelievable trailer. You gotta come down our Leduc location to uh, check this one out. Coming into the kitchen, you have opposing slides because of the wide body design on this particular trailer. You actually get a real nice dinette with four chairs. Two of those chairs fold uh, and you can tuck them out of the way. You got the flip up leaf to make it a little bit bigger. One of the things that separates Solitude across from the competition is that you have industry leading height of slide box. Uh, that makes it real nice if you're really tall, keeps the trailer nice and open on the inside, uh, but bigger windows. Like you've got gigantic windows uh, with this particular trailer. So check that out. Real nice, real nice. Got the little hutch at the entryway with the USB connections. Great big pantry here. We'll uh, show you. Great big pantry with a LED light. So you can, you know, you sneaking out of bed at night looking for a midnight snack. Turn that light on. Real good. 18 cubic foot uh, Norcold gas electric refrigerator. That's the largest gas electric refrigerator in the business. Uh, real good for you to be able to use if you're dry camp and heading out to the Big Valley Jamboree. This has the new range, Fury and Range, very much a gas residential feel. Large ovens, beautiful, real nice high end residential look. And then you've got the uh, stainless steel convection microwave there as well. So nice big windows. You have the hutch with all the storage. You know, beautiful. If you wanted to add a kitchen television there, you can do that. All the, all the wiring is there. We found a lot of people, actually back up before I get going there. Uh, the steps, no carpet on the steps. You got a spot where you can hide, sho you know, shoes and slippers up out of the way, that type of thing. Uh, new for this year again is all linoleum throughout. So no carpet up here on the upper deck uh, where the living room is, which is real nice, easy to keep clean, sweep out, that sort of thing. We've seen some people utilize, you know, area throw rug if you just want to cozy it up a bit more. But what makes this particular trailer real nice is if you have guests and you want to give them a little bit more privacy, uh, Grand Design, they've actually added a privacy curtain here. So you can see that curtain hanging down and you've got the track going all the way across the top. You know, if you have guests, you know, mom and dad are with you, grandma, grandpa, want to give them a little bit more privacy. Uh, it basically turns it into a rear room for them, uh, that type of thing. And then you've got the opposing trifold uh, couches here as well, which is good. The beautiful thing about the wide body on the Solitude is that both of these couches fold out and you still get a walkway down the middle. So if you have a few kids, grandkids, what have you, um, you know, it's not one gi big gigantic bed. We've seen some trailers where you can't fold out, you can only do one or the other. In this particular model, you can fold out both beds at the same time. So power lift uh, television in behind that real nice new age wide, wide style fireplace. Real good, nice big, big window at the back. We'll drop this down, show you that great big window. These windows all have the MCD roller shade, so they are a true blackout uh, blind, uh, which is nice as opposed to the pleated shades on the strings. Um, Grand Design's gone, uh, gone with the uh, MCD roller shades right from the reflection line all the way up uh, into the solitude, so you'll see that drop down. So real big counter space there, tons of windows. If you have an unbelievable view at your seasonal site or wherever you're at, you know, you've got 360 degree almost view here all the way around the, uh, the back end of the trailer here and up nice and high. So if you're looking up over the neighbor's trailers, you know, that type of thing. Thomas Payne Theater seating. Uh, again, uh, the nice thing with the Solitude is you've got heat, massage and power open and close. So, and that kicks right back. So real nice if you're popping a movie in on a rainy day, uh, super, super comfortable and you're staring right at your uh, television, uh, right from your theater seating. So love to have you come by and check this particular model out. Uh, industry leading R values with the Solitude folks. Uh, it's got the thickest sidewall uh, in the luxury profile at two and a quarter inch, which gives you an R11, R45 roof, um, you know, it's just really done, doing a good job. Our 40 floor slide boxes are 26 on the floors. So again, tons of storage in this. Uh, you'll find on Grand Designs, right from their Reflection 150 series 
up through solitude momentum you've got the power max fan with rain sensor so that really helps uh, you know get rid of the moisture if you're doing some cooking you know cooling off the inside of the trailer if you're dry camping and you don't want to run your generator to run your air conditioner that type of thing so there's your entrance way you know uh, switch you know all the switches to operate the slides your generator uh, all that sort of stuff again no carpet on the steps no carpet on the bedroom upper deck we'll show you the bathroom you got a beautiful vanity there thermal foil countertop in your where your sink is one piece fiberglass shower you know that's where some manufacturers are really holding back they're doing the you know abs shower pan with a, a, a shower surround as opposed to a one piece fiberglass uh, shower this is you know fantastic has the shelves the seat be able to sit down that type of thing extra storage up top here show you for your towels hang up your uh, house coats that type of thing porcelain foot flush toilet so beautiful bathroom again oh one thing i want to touch on you have a pocket door here people go clayton why is a pocket door important well real nice thing so a lot of manufacturers use swing doors they swing this way okay they swing this way uh, the issue is those stairs if your door swings open towards the stairs you have to physically to get into your bathroom you have to walk down the stairs at night and then open your door and then walk into your bathroom so it's not nearly as safe having those pocket doors much smoother operation much much better so again into your bedroom full linoleum up top one piece floor super easy to keep clean this has the king bed slide i'll show you tons of windows all the way around the slide out but we'll lift this up They've been doing this since their inception. You got his and her laundry hampers on either side, spot to take your watch off, your jewelry, and tuck it out of the way and protect it. And then you've got the pull-out stool uh, to be able to sit down, put your socks on in the morning, flip up, you know, more laundry storage, that sort of thing. So nobody else is doing this type of thing. Again, all plywood construction. It's not chipboard, double gas struts. Like, you can just look at the quality and the fit and finish in this compartment. That's where Grand Design shines. Again, this is new for this year. Flip up jewelry box again as well. Tuck everything up out of the way. They're just really being smart with space utilization, you know, that type of thing. Uh, they've gone to the stackable washer dryer compartment. Shelves come out, all the plumbing is there, the power, everything, or it's just one great big storage compartment. Uh, you know, closet for all your goodies. <clears throat> Sliding glass uh, doors here. And then you've got the shelves in the back of the closet as well. Tuck your shoes out of the way and whatnot. So again, this is Clayton Phillips from Woody's RV, Leduc, Alberta, Canada, doing a fly-through video on the all-new Grand Design 375 RES with exterior camp kitchen, pull-out kitchen. Again, one thing, dual ACs, standard, both 15,000 BTU air conditioners in this particular model. This has the racetrack system. It's the most efficient air conditioning system in the market. It's one of the quietest out there. Uh, and we also have the heat pump. We option in the heat pump on the rear AC. And then we also, I didn't touch on, we also do the 12 volt heat blankets on the tanks as well. So you've got uh, unbelievable heating capability, unbelievable cooling capability with this trailer. Better R values is just one of the most efficient trailers uh, you know, on the market and has been since their inception. So again, Clayton Phillips, Woody's RV Leduc, Alberta, Canada. Uh, come on down, check us out. Google five star review, type that in, Woody's RV Leduc. Uh, check us out. Those are real reviews from our customers. We thank you uh, for those who have posted reviews and done business with us. And we're just trying to set the bar nice and high uh, here at our Leduc location. So again, Clayton Phillips signing off from Woody's RV Leduc. Take care.